Um, I should remind the House that the amendment has not been selected um, and that Mr Speaker always considers very carefully the question of whether or not uh, to uh, select an amendment and takes all the relevant factors into account and I'm sure the Honourable Gentleman will be reassured that Mr Speaker will continue to do that with the vigilance that he has demonstrated to date. Uh, further to that point of order, yes. I'm, I'm grateful to you, Madam Deputy Speaker, for your assistance in relation to that matter. But further to that point of order, um, I, I have had regard to the terms of page 397 of the 23rd edition of Erskine May. And while, of course, I would not uh, in any way seek to challenge the authority of Mr Speaker uh, or the decision that he has made in exercise of that uh, authority today, uh, I struggle to find a precedent for the decision that he has made in not selecting the Secretary of State's amendment today. I'm sure, Madam Deputy Speaker, it would be of enormous assistance to the House. Um, the Honourable Gentleman is challenging the selection decisions of the Speaker, and that is not in order. I have made it absolutely clear that Mr Speaker has taken a decision with the selection or not of amendments today, and he took into consideration all of the relevant factors necessary, and he does not require prompting from the front bench on this matter. Uh, it better be further to this point of order, not persistence in challenging the selection. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, I wish to place on record, beyond peradventure, that I do not seek to challenge in any way the decision which has been made. I merely seek your guidance, Madam Deputy Speaker, or possibly at some later stage, the guidance of Mr Speaker himself as to what new considerations are apparently taken into account in making these decisions. Uh, the Honourable Gentleman knows full well that the selection of amendments are not discussed on the floor of the House. They are a matter for the Speaker, having taken into consideration all the relevant factors, which he is perfectly capable of doing. I'm sure he will note the points that have been made today, but there is no further points that can be made to uh, question or challenge the decisions of the Speaker in this matter, and I intend now to move to the business. Uh, the business is uh, backbench business, fifth, yeah, national sorry, national insurance debt bill. Minister to Which day? Tomorrow.